good afternoon everyone. This is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Gull Srilik by Sotek. Now the puzzle title, I haven't put it above or I think in the description, but it also it says featuring Maggie and Bremster. And the reason for that is a couple of months ago, Maggie and I were playing with a puzzle idea and for our family day out Sudoku series. And we came up with an idea for a puzzle and we couldn't figure out what was going on. So I did what I often do when that happens and I sent the puzzle idea to Sotek and we spent a couple of hours talking about what we had found. And we weren't sure. <laughs> we spent a long time playing with the idea. And Sotek came back to me a bit later saying, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I think the idea that Maggie and I found was broken and like fundamentally broken to the point it couldn't be used. But Sotek had found some stuff that he thought was interesting and has made a puzzle using some of the stuff that he found while playing with the puzzle idea that Maggie and I had found. And apparently this is it. So... I barely remember it. I do remember what we were playing with, um, but I don't remember the stuff that we found or anything. And therefore he's saying featuring Maggie and Bremster because the inspiration for this puzzle apparently is from an idea that Maggie and I sent to Sotek. So thank you. I am going into this pretty much completely blind. I do vaguely remember, as I said, the idea that we were playing with. So um, it's nice that even though Maggie and I couldn't complete the puzzle, something has come out of it. So let's see what we've got. So Gulls for Lake by Sotek. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine have to be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. So in these killer cages, um, the digits that are placed in the cages will sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits may not repeat within cages. So for example, in this 10 cage, we couldn't have those two digits be the same. So we couldn't, for example, make both of those two and make these a one and a five to sum to 10 because we cannot repeat digits within these cages. Um, and then palindromes. These gray lines are palindromes, which means the digits that go on these lines will read the same in either direction. So if this was a seven, then and this would have to be a seven, because if I, I'm reading along this line, then this would have to, um, whatever is at this end of the line must be at this end of the line. So say this was seven, one, two, one, seven, that would be fine because I'm reading seven, one, two, one, seven, or seven, one, two, one, seven in either direction. That's the way that works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, these cages look familiar to me and they are forced because the only way to make 10 in four digits, because remember they can't repeat, is one, two, three, four. They are the smallest digits we can put in. And if you add them together, you get one, two, three, four. The same is true here, one, two, three, four. And if the minimum you can put in is one, two, three, four, in order to get to 11, I have to increase one of those digits by one without causing a repeat. I can't increase the one by one, the two by one, or the three by one without causing a repeat. So I have to increase the four by a one. And the same is here. This is one, two, three, five. Now, this digit and this digit are the same. This digit and this digit are the same. What is that doing? This digit and this digit are the same. Right, so let's look at what's going on with that. So where is yellow in this box? It's in one of those three cells. This digit and this digit are the same. And they're different to yellow. So green is not in any of those or there. So green is in one of the... Ooh, wait, green, 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 green. Where is those two cells in box five? So green is not in any of those. So by default, green is in one of those. Now, green can't be here. Oh, no, green could be here. Green is in one of those. Now, green can't be here because that would reflect to there. So green is not there. Green could be here if it's one, two, or three. I was, I told myself green couldn't be there, but why couldn't green be there? Well, hang on. No, ooh, no, I've made a mis I've made some fundamental mistakes with my ideering, my ideas here. Am I looking at this right? Right. 
Am I looking at this right? Green is here and here and in one of those. Yellow is here and here and therefore in one of those. One of these has to be a four. One of these has to be a five. If this is five and five, then five is in one of those two. I'm wondering if it's this nine cage, because a nine cage must have two of one, two, and three in it. This is very strange. But wait a minute. One, two, and three. One, two, and three is in here. One, two, and three is in here. So I can't put one, two, or three in any of those cells. So this isn't one, two, or three. I can't put one, two, or three into any of these cells, any of these cells, any of these cells, or any of these cells. None of those cells or these cells can be one, two, or three. Because I have to have one, two, and three in here, and I have to have one, two, and three in here. So in here, because I've got a one in here and a one in here, so both of the ones for these columns are taken up in these two cages. Same with two, same with three, same with these rows. So this 14 cage... But that so if this is green, it's five. Now that can't be. What the heck is going on? So these can't be one, two, or three, but they're the same. So I've got a one, two, or three in a 12 cage, but I think I have to have that anyway. How is this going to work? And remember, one of these is green. That can't be. One of those three is green. I don't know what's going on here. Those two are the same digit which means they're down here and they're not one, two or three, but they could be four. So it could be, those could be the same. 
because if those are both four, that could be a four, and then I could put the four there. I don't understand. But these are the same. So this digit, which has to appear in this cage, is there. And then this digit, which has to appear in this cage, is there. So these orange... So this is actually mirrored this way. So can I do the same with this? So this, let's call it purple. Purple is one of those. How do I reflect that into here? I don't know. Let's call this red. I hate this sort of coloring puzzle. Because purple is in the middle of a palindrome, so I don't know anything about it. So I could absolutely reflect these, but how do I reflect this? Because I need to put three of these into this. Wait a minute, I need to put three of these digits into these. So I need to put three of blue, yellow, and green into here. Well, blue can't go in any of those, but it could go there. Green can't go in any of those, but it could go there. Yellow can't go in any of those, but it could go there. So there's always that escape valve. But if yellow goes here, which is the only place in here it could go, yellow would then go there. So if yellow is in 10, it's in both of those two. If blue is in 10, it's there and there. If green is in 10, it's there and there. And if orange is in 10, it's there and there. And I need three of them. I need three of the same digits. So they this these must be mirrors. Because if I put blue into into the, into the 10 cage, say blue is one of the three, then blue can't go there or there, sorry, can't go there or there, and these become blue. So let's call it purple. Because it can't go there or there. So these would be the same if that was one of the three. Or well, let's just call it blue. If it's green, green now can't go there or there. So green would be in those. And if it's yellow, then yellow couldn't go there or there, and yellow would go there. And if it's orange, then orange would just go there by default. But either way, even if I had, if any of these colors was the opposite one, orange can't go in though, orange is forced into those by default. So while one of these colors is four and five, the other three are one, two, and three. So one of these colors means four or five, and the other colors are one, two, and three. But the patterns hold true. 
So one of these digits is, one of these colors is one, one of these colors is two, one of these colors is three, and the other color is four or five. Or four and five, actually. Because I need to put one, two, and three in. That's crazy. Is it true? It has to be true. So can I now color? Orange has to be in here. No, that's not true because I don't know which one is which. So one, because if one, if for example, orange is four and five, orange can double up in the box. So I don't know which one. I need to figure out which color can double up because one of them can I, oh how do I sort this but the boxes are exact mirrors of each other So I do know this digit is this digit. 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 So that digit reflects to there. That digit reflects to there. Can those all be the same? Because that would put it there as well. Is there, <laughs> so if these are all, That's absolutely crazy. But it means... No, it doesn't. I was thinking, does that mean that would have to be a four or a five? But it doesn't, because I can still duplicate a four or a five into any of these cells. Except orange and green would have... No, except that doesn't. All I've proved is that the 10 and the 11 cages are duplicates of each other. So I know that this digit and this digit are the same. This digit and this digit are the same. I knew that those digits were the same by palindrome. Those digits... Those digits are the same. So though... Those digits are the same. So they can't be in these cells. These have to be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because they can't be here, so they have to be in the corners of these boxes. Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they can't be one, two, three. Those are four or five. It's got to be the same for those. No, it's not the same for those because that one's in the box. But this is a four, five pair. That's got to be important. How do I use it? How do I use it? How do I use it? If the four is down here, this is a five and there's no five here. If the five is up here, this is a four and there's no four here. But. But. 
These are different. No, these are the same. Those are the same. Those are the same. So, if that's five, these are the same. If that's five, there's no five up here. So f these are one, two. If there's no if there's no five up here, four is down here. But if these are five, there's no five up here. Five is in one of those two, but five. Five is green or orange. But that would five would also be blue or orange. So if these are five, that's a five. If these are four, four is blue or yellow, but four is also green or yellow. So this is a five or this is a four. So five is either hang on. Can five be blue now? If five is blue, this is five, this becomes four. Four becomes yellow. That becomes four. But hang on, I think I've just proven my logic is wrong. I think I just proved my opening logic is wrong. Because if yellow is four, I don't get this at all. If this is a five, five is in one of those two, which means this is a five, this is a five. Five is in one of these two, but five isn't there. So five is there. So five, 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 that doesn't work. This has to be four, but that doesn't work either because that puts four here, four, 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 Four. So if this is a five, five is in one of these two. Five is here. So five becomes green and green. Yeah, I've broken it already. Because now I can't put five in this box. And if this is four, this becomes four, which means this becomes four. So hang on, and that seems to work. If these are five, that becomes four. If these become five, five is in one of the, five, five becomes here and here, because I can't put five, so five, would be, yeah, this becomes five, so this becomes five, and now I can't put five in this box. These are both four. So by Sudoku now, this is four, so this is four. So now, 
there's no four in those. We know orange, green, and blue are one, two, and three. That feels right. No, orange, green, and blue are one, two, and three. What am I doing? And these become the five. Is that right? This puzzle is tricky. I think that's right. I'm really tempted to do something I very rarely do, which is this. Digits I entered are correct. So five is in one of these three cells. This is absolutely nuts. Green and blue are in here. Four is in one of those two. So this 14 cage can't have a four or a five in it. I am absolutely using the killer calculator. Just saying. This 14 cage can't have a four or a five in it. So, if this was 239, then orange would be 1. If this was 239, then blue would be 1. So, one of these has to be 167. I know green now is in one of those two, because I know that these are actual colors. So, blue is in one of those two. Orange is in one of these two. Green is in one of these two. Orange is in one of these two. So there's a single one, two, or three maybe in this. Otherwise, this is four, five, six. Down here, I must have blue and green in this cage because there must be two of one, two, and three. So blue and green are in this cage with a four, a five, or a six. This can't be orange because that would put orange there and I can't do it. This is not the orange. So this is orange. So this is one, two, or three. There's no one, two, or three in the 15 cage. This is four with five, six. This is a five or a six and it's a six. So this is a six, this is a five. There's no five here. These are seven, eight, nine. So this is seven, eight, nine. There's no four, five or six in those, but there must be a, a two of one, two, three and a four, five, six. This is the four, five, six, which means it's not the, no, undo that. This is the four, five, six, which means it is, why is it? Because I'm in the wrong mode. This is the four, five, six. It's not the colored. These are the one, two, three. Now this 12 cage, I'm not sure. That palindrome was cool. This is a seven, eight, nine. Neither of these are one, two, three. Neither of these are one, two, three. One of those is seven, eight, nine. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, and one of them must be six. There's a six in this 14 cage. So this is one, six, seven, because if I, I must sum to eight. So I could use one, seven. I can't use two, six. I can't use three, five. So these are one and seven. So blue is not one. So blue is not one. There's no seven here, so there's no seven here. 
So green and blue are two and three. Why did I take one out of there? That was a mistake. No, I did something phenomenally wrong there. This is one seven. Right, blue is not one. I know blue is not one. But green could be one. So I can, can't take one out of either of those. This is one seven though. So there's no seven there and there's no seven there. I almost made a terrible mistake. These are two, three, eight, and nine. But this is one seven. There is no one here. This can't be two or three. So this is the eight, nine. This is the two, three. So this is, no, I could put, no, I can't. This is a one, two, three triple. That's the seven, that's the one. And this is an orange green pair. I I am struggling with this puzzle. I'm also going to have people say, you didn't prove any of this logic. Okay. So seven can't be in those two. So seven can't be in those two. So these are from six, eight, nine and must contain a six. So this is a six, eight, nine triple. So that's a five. So six in this box, it can't be in those, it can't be in those, it can't, this is a six. So these are seven, eight, nine. That's a seven, eight, nine triple. So these are one, two, three, and these are now blue and green. This is crazy. So I've only got, this can't be two, three, nine anymore because I can only put one of two, three, nine in it. So this is one, six, seven. So this is the six. This is the one, this is the seven, and there's no one in those. This is a two, three pair. Green is one. Green is absolutely one. So this is green, not orange. This is orange. This is not blue. This is not green. Green is one. So this is not, this is blue, not green, and this is not blue. This is green, so therefore it's one. This is not one. This is not one. This is not one. This is not one. Can I get rid of the colors at this point? I can get rid of green. No, I can get rid of green. One, 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 one. One is in one of those two. One is in one of those two. I don't need to put a one in a 12 cage. This is not a six anymore. So this is an eight, nine pair. This 15 cage. It could still be four, five, six, maybe. This is crazy. Orange is in one of these two. Blue is right there. That's just blue. Blue is in one of these two. So these are from one, two, three. And these are one and blue. Orange is in one of these two. So there's two of one, two, three in this. There's two of one, two, three in this. Is that right? It has to be. Orange has to be in there. And this has to be one, two, or three. So, it could be 
one two nine it could be one three eight or two three seven so there's a seven eight or nine in here so this is from two three seven eight nine that's not helpful is it because that's just telling me what I already knew from the digits that are left in the column. Where's that digit in this box? Because it's not in any of those. So it's in one of those two. That's not helping either. Oh, this palindrome. That's not a six, because that would make that a six. That's not the six. This is a six. These now have to sum to nine. They're not one eight, so they're either two seven or three six. So they're either two seven or three six because I can't put either two or and it's not three six. This is seven. This is two, which means there's no two there. So orange is three and this is the blue digit. So blue, uh, I'm going to uncolor this. Blue is two no, why did it... No, I'm going to uncolor this. Blue is two. Orange, I'm going to uncolor... I'm going to put threes in there. I'm going to put threes in there. I'm going to uncolor those. I'm going to put... Th this is the problem... One of the problems I have with coloring is... And then these become three. Now I'm going to remove all of the coloring. But three are in here now. Because this can't be one or two, but I have to put... Okay, let's put, go back to where the coloring was. Right. So orange is three. So there's no three in here. So this is one and two. And there must be a three in here. And there must be a three in here by Sudoku. Now I can get rid of all the coloring. Okay, now I've got a better understanding of the coloring. So this is one and three, which sums to four. So this is one, three, eight. These are one, two, three. These are seven and nine. This isn't the one. This is the one. So minimum here is three, four, and five, which sums to 12. These are three, four, and five, because one and two is gone. This puzzle is nuts. And I still don't understand what I'm doing. This six takes six out of here. In fact, I know what this is. No, this had to be a six. I've broken the puzzle. If I tick this, it's wrong. Where did I go wrong? Because that had to be a six as soon as this was a one, two. So I've made a mistake somewhere. Oh, crikey, where did I go wrong? So what was the deduction I made? So is this correct? Yes. Okay. So I made a, de a deduction here. So I said this couldn't be a six. This is a six by Sudoku. These now have to sum to nine. Now they're not one eight. They could be two seven. They can't be three six. Oh, they could be four five. So they're two seven. They're three. They can't be three six. They could be four five. And if they're four five, it's not in that order. That's where I went wrong. Okay, so let's keep going. I am struggling. Okay, so we know orange is in one of these two. We know blue is in one of these two with a one. So these are one, two, three, because blue is two or three. We know orange is in one of these two, but we don't know what orange is. We know blue is right here and is a two or a three. Missed four, five is an option. So what am I missing in this column? One, two, three, four, five, four. 
seven, eight, nine. So four, seven, eight, nine are these. So four is in one of those two by Sudoku. This is not a six. Right, do this math. If this isn't a six, this can't be a two because these have to sum to eight and I can't do four, four. This is five. So this is three. No, not a one. Oh, man, I am falling apart. So blue is three. That's what I needed to do. So blue is three and orange is two. That's what I needed to do. And there's a two in there. And this is one, three. That's what I needed to do. So that being a two means this is a five, which means this is four. Or, there's a two in one of those. This is a three. This needs to have a blue in it, which we know is a three. So this is a three. This is a one. This is a three. Three and two means that this is two seven. This is feeling less like a screw up now. I'm not feeling less like a screw up, but the puzzle is these are seven, eight, nine. And now I think I can get rid of the coloring. Four is right here by Sudoku because that those fours knock out those and that one knocks out those. This digit still can't go in any of those. So one, that goes into one of those, but this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine pair. Making a mistake is fine if I'm struggling solving something and I can sort it out. This is an eight, nine. So this is quite under pressure. It sees one, three, so it's two, four, sees five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's two or four only. What is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, eight, and nine. That's not two or four. So that's eight or nine. That's not two or four. That's an eight or nine. So that gives me an eight, nine pair. That's not eight or nine. This is actually two or four because of the two, four in these columns. So these, one, two, three, four, five, these are six and seven. So these are all, oh, so this is eight, nine, because this row is missing six, seven, eight, nine, and it sees six, seven. So this is six, seven. The eight, nine, of course, means one, two, three, four. These are five, six, and seven and must contain a five. The five takes the five out of there. This becomes the five. How am I going to break this open? Those are the same digit. It's going to be something to do with that. Or that. Or this 12 gauge. Or, I don't know, something. I don't know. Um, four is in one of those two. What can this 12 gauge be? It doesn't have a three in it. If it doesn't have a one in it, well, it doesn't have a six in it either. That's important because if it doesn't have a six in it, it must have a one in it. So this is the one. Oh, I got that from that one. So these sum to 11. So two, nine, three, eight. I can't use three, eight. Four, seven, I can't use. Five, six, I can't use. So this is two, nine. So this isn't the four. This is the four. This is two, nine. The two, nine looks down, making this the eight, which makes this the nine, which makes this the eight, which makes this the nine, which makes this the eight, which takes eight out of there. 
The two nine makes this the four, which makes this the two. This is now known. One, two, three, four. This is a five. How? <laughs> it's still not broken open. My brain is broken open, but the puzzle's not. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's no six there. There's no eight there. So this is a six, seven pair. So there's no eight here. So this is six, seven, or nine, which means in this six, seven, eight, nine quadruple, the eight is in one of those two. So there's no eight there. So I can take eight out of there. Eight is in one of those two. That's a seven, nine pair, making that the eight in the center of the grid. Still not getting it. There's no seven there. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Well, that's just a nine because of the five, six looking at it. So this is the six. This is the five. That has to do it. The six looks down making this the seven and this the six. The seven looks across making this the six and this the seven. The seven takes seven out of there. This is now an eight, nine pair. So this is the seven, which makes this the seven, which makes this the nine, which makes this the nine, which makes this the eight, which makes this the seven. The eight by palindrome makes this the eight and this the nine, which makes this the eight, which makes this the nine, which by palindrome makes this the eight and this the nine. This is now the seven, which means this is the eight and this is the six. The nine looks back making this the two and this the nine. The two looks back making this the seven and this the two. And that is the correct solution. 44 minutes and five seconds. Now, I admit I made some serious mistakes there. And once I made this initial deduction, I did use the am I completely on the wrong path button to confirm. And when I made a mistake, I used the built-in tool to turn around and say, am I wrong? Yes. And then I rolled back and found out, am I back to a point that is good? Yes. These are tools that are avail available to me. I didn't use the pencil mark checker or anything like that. What I did is I used the built-in solution checking option to say, is the puzzle in the state I am now broken or not? That initial deduction is very heavy of the 10 and 11 cages being in mirrored states is very heavily based on a concept that Maggie and I did play with, but we were using something very different to these palindromes to do it. Um, in case someone wants to explore it, we had these 10 and 11 cages, and I think we had 10 and 11 in, in the opposite order, and then we just put in anti-diagonals, and we explored, and it was nuts, um, and we couldn't figure it out. Feel free to explore that as a concept. It's bonkers. Um, I think it's broken, but we could never really prove it. Um, so to took that idea and ran with it and turned it into something stunning. Now, it's possible I should have been able to do better at this, but I didn't. <laughs> that was an amazing puzzle. Um, and once again, I'm sure in the comments, people will say, 15 minutes, barely above a gas. People do that all the time. Um, that's just what it is. That That's what happens. Yay. Um, very rarely do those people post to something like Bremster Discussion on Puzzle Plaza with screenshots or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I believe them, but it's like, I, there was one puzzle where I think my testers came in at a minimum of like 45 minutes and someone said, oh, I did this in eight minutes. I'm pretty certain the person who did that made a logical leap because <laughs> um, it was one that I did in like 50 something minutes. It was like, yeah. <laughs> um, and that happens. If they had fun, great. That's all that matters. That was a stunning puzzle. Thank you, Sotek. And thank you for crediting us with finding that weird thing, which you then didn't use, but credit us anyway. Thank you. I know we inspired you to explore this. So thank you very much. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the puzzles. I do wish to stress, if you haven't looked at it yet, go back and check out Intro to Black Holes 2 by Heliopolis. That puzzle 
was stunning. And I'm going to keep saying that for a couple more days because that puzzle was stunning. Um, yeah, as always, good luck with your solving.